please welcome Danielle to the stage, who's going to give us a sneak peek at Quick Layout. Thanks, Ken. You're welcome. Pre presents are appreciated, Danielle. I, I know. I, sh I should have brought something. I feel bad now. Uh, so when working on a design, it's not uncommon to have a boss or client come back to you with changes or new content. Um, however, this can be frustrating when you already have a design, and now the new layout is going to be affected. Uh, so let's see how we do this today. For example, I'm an illustrator, and I have a flyer for the Max Bash. I have some images below, but now I need to add some new content. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some images and drop them onto the canvas. Now they get placed pretty large and all on top of each other. So I need to manually resize them. Go ahead and resize these images. One second. All right. And now I want these images in a row above the other two I already have. Uh, they're different sizes, but I want them to take up an even amount of space. So I'm going to need to mask each of them individually. I, I happen to have some shapes here ready to go. So I'm just going to move these onto the canvas. I'm going to grab an image, center it on the shape, send it to the back, and create clipping mask. So I then have to do this for each of the other images individually. Uh, and now you'll notice it's actually affected the rest of my design also. So I'm going to go in here and adjust the text a bit. We've all been here. This can take some time. Uh, so let's go over to Project Quick Layout. I have the same flyer started here. So I'm going to grab an image and drop it onto the canvas. And right away, you'll notice that the rest of the content on the page started to adjust. So I can add a second image to this flyer. And the visual feedback is going to help me decide where to place it. And once it's placed, the other content resizes. There's more. Uh, if I go to add a third image, I can add this to the same row. I'm going to hover between the two I've already placed. And it's going to evenly split my content. Yeah. So very quickly, I've started to lay out multiple images on this flyer. Uh, but now some images work better at different sizes. Uh, some work best horizontally, some vertically. Again, adjusting each image to find the right layout takes time. So that's why there's now an underlying structure that's been created, allowing me to quickly adjust my design. So I might want this image in the center to be larger with two smaller images on the sides. Or maybe I want two smaller images on the left with this palm tree image here larger on the right. So very quickly, I've started to lay out multiple images on this flyer. Also, currently, we're used to selecting an image, moving it around the canvas with everything staying static. However, here, content has relationships to each other. So I can slide this image and start to see the surrounding content adjust. Wow. So I'm going to snap this image back to the center, uh, maybe make a few small adjustments, slide this text a bit. And there we go. Very quickly, I finished my flyer. Thank you. Yay, Danielle.